What's that, Mrs. Anderson? Well, I'm an old friend of his, and I'm real anxious to see him. Clark, ma'am, Ray Clark. Well, I, I know it's restricted, but I thought perhaps if I could talk to him. What's that, Mrs. Henderson? I didn't quite hear you. Would you say that again? Well, is there any way I could get a message to him? Well, would you be good enough to just tell him that Ray Clark called? Thank you very much, Mrs. Henderson. Just check my oil. Hey, you mind? Not at all. Tell me, could you turn that down some? Oh, sure, honey. Hey, Charlie, turn it down. Do you rent space in that thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you want to dance? No, thank you, honey. I just had a hernia operation. You are funny. <laughs> I was sort of hoping you were in the army. Why? Charlie heard there was a new base being put up here. That's why he bought the place. You see any soldiers? How long has the base been here? Who knows? You know, Charlie, he's always decorating this place. He has a talent for that. And on Saturday night, he puts out a huge sign. It says, Big Party. And, and he doubles his drinks, too. And I don't water them, none either. You wonder what the country's coming to. All those boys sitting up in the desert, never seeing no girls. Well, they might as well be in stir. How far is the base from here? About 50 miles or so. You hear the planes coming in and out all the time, but you don't see any pilots. Not so much as one single pilot. I mean, what's the matter? Don't they drink in the Air Force? How would I get in there? Oh, lots of luck. You, know, you can't even see the place. There's just a road over leading to the left and then nothing. I was telling Charlie, we ought to drive up there sometime with a couple of kegs of beer for the boys and tell them yeah. where it's from. You know, leave cards mother. and stuff. I them. told you I bought a place. Thank you. 